Final Fantasy XIV stands out from other MMOs in more ways than one. From its inception, it's been a game that's dared to be different. Almost every aspect of Final Fantasy XIV breaks the mold of traditional MMOs, drawing inspiration from the rich culture and history of the beloved Final Fantasy series. But amidst all these differences, which ones truly elevate the game? Today, I'm diving into the top 5 things that Final Fantasy XIV absolutely nails. I understand that Final Fantasy XIV has some shortcomings, and that will be for another video. But today, I want to take a moment and highlight what Final Fantasy XIV excels at. Bear in mind, these are simply my opinions, and I'd love to hear yours as well, so feel free to comment below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Savage Raiding in Final Fantasy XIV is absolutely amazing. Savage Raiding is an 8-man battle with, generally speaking, 2 healers, 2 tanks, and 4 DPS. Often different roles will get assigned different parts of mechanics and everyone has to do their part. It's tough because there are certain points where everyone has to pull their weight and sometimes a simple mistake can destroy a whole attempt. I love raiding so much in this game that I'd honestly say that this is the number one thing that I think Final Fantasy XIV does so well. I've raided in old school EverQuest, did raiding in WoW and Final Fantasy XI, but Final Fantasy XIV's raids are on a whole other level. Having to maintain my rotation while figuring out different mechanics really fries your brain. I usually describe this sensation as catching your brain on fire. Long gone are the days for me now where I'd have to create a new character each time I want to try a different job or class. Final Fantasy XIV has done classes and jobs so well that all you have to do is change your main weapon in order to swap jobs. You of course have to progress and level up that job if you want to get it stronger, but the fact I'm not having to log off and swap characters or level them by repeating a story or quest I've already done is huge. Another big benefit of this system is I don't have to give up my reputation by playing on an alt. My friends, FC members, and SAG members don't have to re-add me to a friends list and put special notes. I just changed jobs, but not my character. By having a system like this, I think players are also able to explore other playstyles with more ease and freedom. Leveling through Final Fantasy XIV is much different than anywhere else. Again, most of my other experiences have been with EverQuest, Final Fantasy XI, and WoW. EverQuest on one hand was more of just a grind, you know, kill things, get XP, and eventually level. WoW was more of a collect quest as you explore and complete them. And Final Fantasy XI did have somewhat of a story that you followed, but more or less, it was also a grind. Final Fantasy XIV has an actual story. Everything feels planned out and there's a path carved for you, and you are the star. When I first started playing the game, I did appreciate the story progression system, but after going through it, I realized that it adds value to everything I am doing along the way. I'm no longer mindlessly clicking things. The FF series really has mastered storytelling and now story progression. I wasn't much of a crafter or gatherer when I first came to Final Fantasy XIV. In other games, I only did what I had to be done in order to obtain the best gear and slot or additional stats or whatever was required. I don't think enough players realize what crafting really is, but it's a risk versus reward system. It's more or less gambling, and it's fun. If you actually craft without macros, you will realize that some risks must be taken in order to complete items in a high quality fashion. Expert recipes best display this concept. I've had hours upon hours of fun doing crafting, and I hope others try it as well. Final Fantasy XIV has a beautiful travel system. As you explore the game, you'll find these Aetherites, which are just these crystals you attune to. Once you attune to them, you can now teleport to them. Within the cities, the smaller ones can get you around the city itself, and the massive crystals you can simply teleport to with the click of a button. Flying can also be obtained by gathering Aether Currents. Once all of the currents in a zone are gathered, you can now fly in that zone. Back in the day, travel was horrendous in most games. Final Fantasy XI is a perfect example of horrible travel. In Final Fantasy XI, it would take 15, sometimes 20 minutes to get somewhere, and you could easily die along the way. Final Fantasy XIV embraces the idea of respecting your time and moves you around the world quickly. So what did you guys think? Does Final Fantasy XIV do these things well? What do you think it does well? Feel free to share in the comments below. Final Fantasy XIV is an awesome game, and these top 5 things that Final Fantasy XIV nails don't mention any of the issues, problems, or flaws with the game. That's for my next video, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you all for checking out this video, and if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so, and I will see you next time.